Guys, I am freaking excited because we're going fishing for the first time in a long time. Cody invited me out on his boat, so let's go have a good day of fishing. Sorry I'm late. I couldn't find my Bass Pro Shops hat. They're, uh, they're closed. Even the fridge? No, but... Minnows. Oh, it's There's like one bag. Oh shit. And free hooks. Oh, you buy, buy minnows in. These are good ones. <laughs> I'm gonna grab that. How much? Five for minnows? Yeah. Tiny guys, man. Zoom. It takes it in like a, a vending machine. <laughs> Shout out to Sharkins for even having that fridge, though. That's freaking awesome. Here is Cody's boat we're taking out. This thing's a freaking barge. It's massive. All right, we got one dozen of minnows. We're gonna stop at the next bait shop, get some more. I've been stuck in the garage building the freaking John boat and Cody came to the rescue. Asked me if I wanted to go fishing. I said, hell yeah, let's go fishing. I'll get two dozen. Trying to figure it all out. <laughs> oh yeah. I was like, uh, what's the guy's name? And he was like, I think his name's Adam. I, was like, yeah, I know who you're talking about. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm glad you someone's got, watching. You got some followers out there, man. <laughs> Good deal. Been out there to the Stillman Basin. Got any of those trout? I got a few times. Yeah. Yeah. I've been building a little boat, so I've been freaking busy. What kind of boat you building? Just a little John boat. My little red one. Redoing that. Nice. Getting ready for the springtime, huh? Oh yeah, it's almost done. Yep. I'll be out here every day. This is barely caught me, man. I'm gonna head back to the house, get ready for this Cowboys game. Oh yeah, it <laughs> looks like it. Yes, sir. <laughs> they better win. Yeah, man. It's I good. saw the first game. How are they doing this season? Yeah, they're doing great, man. Good deal. They're, they're doing great. I'm oh, sorry. Thank you, sir. Yeah, they better good take one, it. Man. Catch a big one. I'll try. All right, we got two more dozen minnows. We're ready. Shut out the right on tackle. Hook this up. Oh, dude, it feels so good to be back at the lake. A little windy today, but like I said, Cody's boat is a freaking barge. Shouldn't be no problem at all. I mean, it's really not that bad. It should be the right amount of wind to catch fish. And the bait shop said that they are catching walleye down here, so I'm freaking stoked, man. Hopefully we can get on some fish today. Yeah, buddy, it feels good to be back. Hey, can we go back? I really can't catch fish without my Bass Pro Shops hat. It's a member's edition. All right, got a double minnow rig on, dropping it down 50 feet. The water is like 55 degrees, so this should be pretty deep. A bite that's a bite dude no way all we needed was a dock I think it's on yes yeah, on yes about freaking time holy crap feels big it's fighting but I haven't fought a fish in a long time so Dude, a decent walleye. Yeah. <laughs> About freaking time. Yeah, on a minnow. Well, boys, probably a 17, 18 inch walleye. We probably fished, what, five spots? No bites. Dude, she is freaking cold. Wanna keep it? Wanna throw it in your... Yeah. We'll keep it. I'll throw it on the boat. Sweet. Yeah, buddy. Walleye is so freaking good. 
All right, so fishing today was freaking tough. Caught one, that's it. So yeah, fishing was tough. Makes me a little worried about taking this boat out for the very first time. Am I gonna catch any fish? That would suck if I didn't. But I am going across the entire lake to a different spot for this boat, so I'll try over there and see what we can do. Hopefully we can catch a bunch of fish for the first time taking the boat out video, but I'm actually about to start working on the boat. I got in the last piece of foam in the mail today. I went out and did some fishing and now I get to work on the John boat. I call that a pretty good day. All right, so here is the last sheet of the ortho deck. We need to cover this door here, cover this section, and then cover the floor. But before we do that, I need to add this vent into this door here. This is a vent to let out all the gas fumes from the gas tank compartment. All right, so we got the last piece of foam in, which was the floor, and I must say it came out freaking awesome. I'm happy with how that came out. I wish every piece was that perfect, but it's not. It's close, but it's not. So that is the last piece of foam, and this is pretty much the final look of the boat. Everything on the outside is done. I'm probably gonna add some rod holders somehow. I'm not sure how yet. I haven't figured that part out yet, but for the most part, she's done. I went ahead and got the vent in the gas compartment. Got the gas tank back in there. That's all connected and done. We got the latch attached. On this vent, it was really thin, so what I did was I cut out the circle of foam, cut the, that circle in half, and put the bottom half back in so this is somewhat level with the boat. And I can still catch air to vent out all the air in that compartment. Once again, here's the floor. Looking freaking awesome. All done. We got that all done. I do have extra uh, sheeting left of the foam. So I'm probably gonna replace this piece just because it doesn't match. This foam has lines in it. And if a piece has more lines, it looks darker, which is why this piece over here looks darker, why that piece looks lighter. Here's a perfect example of the foam. So you see this piece has way, way, way more lines than this sheet over here. So this one looks darker than this sheet here, but every sheet's different. I ordered four sheets and they're all different. <laughs> so it's hard to make it match, but if I would've just laid it all down and then cut it out that way, it probably would've looked a whole lot better, but there still would've been this piece here that was different. So, I mean, it's hard to get this stuff perfect, which is why camo is a lot better than just this bare sheeting. But I just wanted basic gray. I thought it would look good with the white, and it does. But once again, I'm probably gonna replace this piece, 
since I have the extra foam. We're not done with this boat just yet. It's almost there. She's almost finished. All we have to do now is go inside this electrical compartment here, connect these batteries, and I wanna build a divider right here. I wanna build or make it where this battery is here, and then the battery charger is probably somewhere over here. I may even do like a two layer thing, build a box. So that's the plan with that. I would be doing that tomorrow. And then once this compartment is done and I got the divider up, this boat is freaking done. How crazy is that? So I'm gonna work on that tomorrow. But tonight I'm gonna go ahead and clean out this garage, get rid of all these tools, throw away all this foam, get rid of all these tools, the batteries. I mean, this garage has been wrecked from this boat build. We got all this leftover sheet metal, boat parts. That reminds me, I need to give that battery charger to Cody once I fix the wiring, of course. I'm probably gonna use a lot of this metal in my truck camping rig. That's probably the next project after fishing, of course. I do wanna go out there and relearn the lake and go catch a bunch of fish. Obviously earlier, I did not get to uh, catch that many fish. We only caught one. I did not know the spots. I didn't know the lake or anything like that. So I'm super excited for this boat because I get to go back out there every single day to the lake and relearn it. I'm so freaking stoked to get to go out there every day and try to find the fish. I've been looking forward to it for the past month now and we're almost there guys. We are almost there. Probably two more days. And this guy is done. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.